problem. You talked about a part where the Ministry of Labor monitors. Mm -hmm. If indeed this agreements were domiciled with the Ministry of Labor. Yes. Why wasn't the Ministry of Labor before no. now following up with the Ministry of no, Health? No, we have. We have been. We have been. As a matter of fact, I put up a technical committee. I did. In the last three months. It's there. Headed by the Permanent Secretary in uh, Health. And because the chairman is in health, we didn't get the full benefits of that technical committee. That is why they, when they kicked, I called Minister of Health and said, Technical committee, I want the report immediately. If you're not ready with the report, come. Let us go for a government side discussion and negotiation. In any I brought in National Salaries and Income and Wages Commission mm -hmm. because some of the things were supposed to be done by them. I brought in Accountant General's office. They were all there at the government side meeting. I called in the uh, Ministry of Finance. I called uh, Health. I, so this was all at the meeting I held yesterday? Of course, yes. And, and before then, I have also approached them as government side. And they all returned yesterday. What are the results? I know we know you met Beautiful for results. 10 hours the yesterday. The six points issues were trashed out. Lack of communication can lead to war. Lack of communication. And that is one of the things I noticed that is lacking in government business. Technocrats have a lot of red tapism and block of information. For example, I give you an, uh, a, a, a case now. The same thing that Asu is even talking about. Salaries are paid in percentages. That's what we call they call it fractionalization. Uh, resident doctors call, called it um, shortfalls. Yes, they were shortfalls. Why did they, were, were they shortfalls? The shortfalls are called because in a given year you do what is called Personnel cost appropriation in a budget. People are counted one, two, three, four, five persons are here. Earning five, five thousand. Five times five thousand is twenty-five thousand. Ten persons are here. Earning ten, ten thousand. Ten times ten is hundred thousand. So the personal cost for these 15 people is 150. And that is what the National Assembly appropriates. And that is what the president signs into law. A budget that is passed as an act, uh, the bill is passed, when it's signed into law, it becomes a money law. If you spend anything outside it, it's just extra budgetary. And it's, a, it's an offense. Mm. So what has happened after this appropriation? You have cases of some hospitals, Employing through the back door without approval, overshooting the personnel uh, uh, nominal role. You have some vice chancellors and their registrars employing, overshooting their personal, personnel cost role. Mm -hmm. So these are why the money that comes based on the actual number of people on those nominal role, they try to spread them across a greater number of people that is contained in the nominal role. Which is that, what causes the shortfall. Correct. That's one aspect of the shortfall. Mm, uh, well, I would let you go into the, another aspect of the shortfall, but this directly links into the next question so I have. So why I'm telling you this is because, like for the next resident doctors, it was easy to sort out. Mm. The person from uh, Kanto General's office brought out his uh, uh, statistics, and we found out that this shortfall have occurred, and the government had made a, a, adequate... Uh, 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 taking adequate measures to replenish mm. so that people don't get embarrassed and that uh, accountant general's office have started paying the we'll, shortfalls in batches. We will see the results in a couple of hopefully days. Uh, Are you pessimistic you know, uh, Mobe? Uh, well, we'll pay. Don't, don't worry. We hope that you know the ultimatum will and definitely be called. And of course up. we're also doing auditing. But Dr. Engege, There's it, a presidential task force now to move. It, it leads me to my next question. Yes. Your ministry not only has the job to conciliate or avert strikes, you also have the job to create employment. Yes. Unemployment has been on an increase steadily, on a steady increase since the beginning of 2015, since January 2015. And now it's at 14% at the last count. We understand from the National Bureau of Statistics that over 3 million people have lost their jobs so far, steadily. Um, what are you doing to combat this? Well, uh, if you ask this question, it also is a very unfair question. 
an economy that moves into recession. Why wouldn't you be, there be job losses? Why did we enter recession in the first instance? Mono economy, we all depended on oil. And before 2015, we were selling oil at $115 a barrel. When I was in the Senate, yes. $100 a barrel. And when it is bad, 96. And when we are doing budget, we, 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 we do what we call benchmarking mm -hmm. at 90. And there's a, a, a soft loss, which is called SS crude revenue. That's what that does it. So we even get SS crude funds. But now, it fell from $115, $100 a barrel to 45. But you have a mandate. For 40. You have a to, mandate to at least, even if you I'm cannot, coming. even if you cannot do anything, you have a mandate to arrest the situation. I have arrested. That's where, the, where I'm going to. We arrested. How did we arrest? The increase in unemployment? Of course we did. Government will have retrenched their, their, their workers in the public service. But we didn't. We didn't. President will not hear it. President Buhari doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't even want it mentioned or thought, thought about. Hmm. Well, now, in the oil sector, which is the area that is ravaged by this dwindling uh, uh, oil revenue and even the output because the, of uh, the military the the I'm afraid that you will have to take a break. I hate to interrupt you. Mm. But we will take a break now. When we re return, minimum wage also continues to be a talking point for workers, especially for the Nigerian Labour Congress, which has been at the forefront of this agitation. We'll ask how far the federal government has gone with the uh, constitution of the tripartite committee set up to review the minimum wage. Well, that's in a moment. Please stay with us.